what you're seeing on the screen is uh, two windows side by side to each other. Uh, on the left, left side, I have my TC52AX uh, device sitting on a workstation cradle. And on the right side, you can see uh, my external monitor. Uh, this is what is presented to me on, on a secondary screen. Uh, my cradle is connected to a mouse uh, and a keyboard, which is allowing me to interact uh, with my um, application here on the external monitor while my device is sitting on the cradle. So the first thing you're going to notice here in this environment is that uh, the screen of my mobile device and whatever is happening on my external monitor is completely independent. So instead of having a, a mirror of whatever is happening on the mobile device, this is uh, allowing me to run applications on the mobile device screen um, while at the same time I'm working on this external monitor on other applications as well. Now, when the user docks the device into the cradle, on this external monitor, the user is presented with a desktop uh, launcher that provides a user interface that looks very similar to what they will use uh, to be um, on, on or what they are used to use uh, on, a, on a traditional workstation. Here on this kind of environment, uh, you'll notice that there's some shortcuts here on my home screen that allows me to launch applications uh, quickly uh, by doing a, a click on these icons. As an admin control, an admin can determine what kind of shortcuts are presented to the user uh, on the home screen. Uh, you're going to see here at the bottom uh, a taskbar. On the taskbar, I can uh, get access to applications that are uh, installed on my mobile device. Uh, an admin control here as well is to determine what applications are presented to the user um, when they open the all apps uh, tray here. You can see here that as I'm opening applications, these applications are presented to me at the bottom uh, of my uh, taskbar. The applications are opened in uh, multiple resizable windows that allow me to have multiple applications at the same time and to um, multitask uh, on, on multiple applications here on, on my home screen. On the right side uh, hand of my taskbar, uh, I'm presented here for uh, of information uh, related to my uh, mobile computer. I can see here network connectivity, if I have any Bluetooth peripherals connected, uh, date and time, and I also have here a notification panel that lets me know uh, all the notifications that I have on my mobile device. So think here that the user is now concentrated on the external monitor, so all the information that my, they might need is presented on, on the secondary screen. Uh, as I mentioned before, you're going to notice that I can uh, open applications on my mobile device screen, uh, while at the same time I have applications here on my desktop. And um, the applications that I have on my mobile device screen are also going to appear uh, here on the taskbar. So here the user can know if they have applications that are running on each one of the screen. And uh, the taskbar, what they allow, it allows for them to do is to move applications from the uh, mobile device screen uh, to the desktop or the other way around, push applications from the, mo from the external monitor to the device um, and continue working on these applications depending on, on what is the best uh, layout that they need uh, to perform the activity that they have on hand. Um, other, uh, other features that we have with this kind of solution as well is to um, determine what happens with applications when I undock the device from the cradle on when I dock the device on the cradle. Um, by default, if I undock my device here, all the applications that I had uh, working on are still going to be here on the device and I can still launch them uh, from here if I want to continue working on them. Uh, and in a similar way, uh, when I dock my device in the, uh, on the cradle, I can bring back all those applications back into my external monitor uh, to continue working on them uh, on, this, on my uh, bigger screen. Um, now we have admin behaviors as well that determine uh, what kind of uh, applications are going to be presented each time I dock and undock my device. So we can really uh, tailor uh, what kind of experience we want for the uh, end user to have in this kind of environment. Um, on, here on my taskbar, I also have my audio uh, UI, which allows me to control uh, if I have audio peripherals connected to my workstation cradle. And it allows me as a user uh, to determine what kind of audio peripheral I want to use depending on the application that I have, and also take control of uh, media uh, volume control uh, of calls, media uh, notifications, or, or other kind of um, things that I'm interacting here from an audio perspective. Now, the last thing that I have here on, on Workstation Connect is uh, the integration of uh, 
WordPress Connect. Uh, what we have here is that uh, WordPress Connect allows me to do um, push to talk communications or even voice communication when my device is sitting on the cradle through the um, secondary screen. And what that means is that now I can use the same tools that I had when I was on the go, now in this uh, fixed desktop kind of environment uh, to perform any kind of uh, communication that I might uh, want to have here. So um, the same uh, tools that I used to have, I still have them here, but now with a, a bigger UI um, that provides more information as now I have access to a bigger screen and other peripherals as well.